guys, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and today we have a video focusing on bed styling, which again, I've kind of been getting into these videos where I'm focusing on something and doing it multiple ways to share with you guys a couple different ways to style your bed. Or you might have just recently saw on my channel that I did a tablescape video, which if you have yet to watch that, I'll link it in the description box below or put a card up on the screen there because it's perfect for Thanksgiving, which is right around the corner. But today we are focusing on beds. And beds, honestly, they are hard, you guys. It is hard to get the layers, textures, patterns, colors, everything completely accurate with a bed. I feel like beds are just very hit or miss, but I quickly want to mention three things before jumping in. And the first one being that today's video is kindly sponsored by Helix, which is the base of our bed. I've had my Helix mattress for around a year and I absolutely love it. And just like I said, this box here arrived on my doorstep a year ago and my life was changed ever since because I really do love my Helix mattress. I feel like my sleep has improved so much. And the reason being is you get to start off with a sleep quiz, which I love. So the sleep quiz kind of goes through things like position, what kind of feel you like. So whether that's a soft, medium, or firm mattress, the relief that you're looking for, and just kind of ask you a couple of personal questions to essentially then determine what mattress would be best for you. And I was paired up with the Midnight Lux mattress and I have been loving it. And something I'm sure that you guys will love is that Helix actually delivers your mattress right to your doorstep for free. It comes rolled up in a box and it's extremely easy to set up yourself. Simply just unpackage it and let it fluff up for about 24 hours and you're good to go. Everybody's different and everybody's sleep is different. So I love how Helix is a company that has taken taking that to mind to ensure that they have a mattress that really fits everyone's sleeping pattern or lifestyle. And if it makes you nervous to buy something like a brand new mattress, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so that you can go ahead and just test it out. And if you don't like it, they'll pick it up for free and no, you don't have to put it back in the box. You guys all know by now how much I love my Helix mattress. So if you're in the market for a new bed, definitely check out Helix. You can go ahead and click the link in the description box below or head to helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. The second thing is that I really tried to utilize a bunch of my own linens and bedding and duvet covers and throw blankets and pillows. So as much as I would love to go out and purchase a ton of stuff to make four perfectly curated different beds, I really wanted to utilize things multiple ways to show you how they could look different. And last but not least, I do want to mention that all four of the beds that I'm styling might not look perfect in this space, you know, with the backdrop and everything and the wall color behind me. But do keep in mind, this is my only bedroom and bed space to style on. So that's why I'm just sharing with you guys all of them on this bed space but they might look better, you know, in another environment or even in your own home. So that's everything I wanted to touch on. Let's go ahead and dive on into how to style a bed. These are my favorite tips and tricks and just different ways to do things that you may have not thought about. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first bed here, I wanted to do a play on an all white bed because I know all white bedding is extremely popular. So I'm gonna be doing a all cream bed, starting off with a simple cream sheet set here. I love this one, it is so, so soft. So I added the fitted sheet first, then the flat sheet on top. I'm then gonna go ahead and add right on top of that a quilt. This is a linen quilt that I just love. It has some nice square stitching on the front of it. This is a great way to add texture to a bed. So I'm just adding that right on top and then folding back both the sheet and the quilt, just about 12 inches inches or so to have a nice folded top and then tucking the entire quilt around the bed. Now this is the trick on getting a nice fluffy designer looking bed. You're going to place your duvet towards the end of your bed, pull it all the way up to the top, and we're going to actually do a third fold where we fold it back down to the bottom and then right back up to that fold that was created to essentially create a tripled up duvet. This is going to make it just look a lot more fluffy and then when you get into bed at night all you have to do is simply pull back your duvet and it's essentially how a normal bed would be made. So at the top I'm going to add a couple of sleeping pillows. These are just two cream pillows, keeping it very casual with the pillows up here. And then right in front of those, I'm adding two black striped texture pillows just to add a little bit of contrast to the bed. And then in front of that, just a more decorative pillow. This is a really pretty woven one. And then lastly, to the bottom, to finish it off, I'm going to be adding a chunky throw knit blanket. I think that just adds a lot of texture again, especially when you have a tonal bed. It's nice to incorporate a lot of texture for interest. Our first bed is complete, and I figured I would go through kind of what I did to each bed after so you guys can get an understanding for why I did these selections. So this bed here is more of a minimal kind of monochrome bed. I know a lot of people really like white bedding, light colored bedding, so I wanted to do a full on white slash light bedding option. So I started off firstly with a simple sheet set. Now I do wish I had a sheet set that had a slight, very simple pattern to it. Something just to add a little bit of texture to this area, but this is not bad at all. So this is from Brooklyn and love that. Then I added a quilt on top, which I love adding a quilt, especially during winter time. Now, if you don't want to add this in the summer or whatever it might be, you can just go ahead and pull 
pull your duvet a little bit higher. However, the quilt adds a nice bit of texture and separation between these two areas. Now the duvet here is from CB2, which I love this duvet. You guys have seen this multiple times on my channel. It's like the duvet I've always had on my bed. So I just went ahead and folded that in thirds. It's a really great tip to make your bed look a little bit more fluffy and overall a bit more designer vibes. And lastly, I added on just a really cute chunky throw blanket, again going with those neutrals but adding a bunch of texture. And then as far as throw pillows go, I went pretty simple. I did the sleeping pillows in the back, two black with some texture striped throw pillows, and then one more interesting one in the front there. I feel like if this was going in this room, I would do a pillow here that's a little bit more bold, maybe some pattern and some color just to spice up the bed a bit, but I wanted to keep everything neutral for this option, so this is our first bed. bed we're going to be playing with pattern and texture so the first thing that I'm doing is adding this really moody sheet set from Target it has this floral print on it now whenever you have a printed sheet set that's printed on one side I always suggest laying it pattern side down that way when you add your duvet on top like I'm doing at the moment when you fold back down the top section and pull your sheet over the top it literally looks like the underside of your duvet is the same exact material as your sheet set but it's really just your inverted sheet which is a really nice little tip there now at the bottom of the bed I'm actually adding this matte let's say coverlet this is a great way to introduce a coverlet a blanket a quilt whatever you have on hand but it just adds a lot of texture so I'm gonna be pleating it back on the bottom of the bed here and almost allowing the coverlet to overflow the bottom of the bed just to add a very effortless lived-in vibe and I think this adds again kind of that designer touch to a bed where it almost looks like you don't want to get in it but at the same time you do and it's really not too hard to achieve now for the pillowcases I always do this when my pillows are too long I simply invert the ends of the pillow case on the inside and kind of create this tuck which just makes them look a little cleaner um, on the top there I'm actually stacking my pillows I love doing this when I style a bed as opposed to leaning them against the headboard so I stack them in the back there and I'm adding a few different throw pillows these ones are not coordinating at all but I love the abstract look of uncoordinated pillows on a bed I think it just adds a little bit more interest and then the very last step is to add a nice throw blanket at the end of the bed I'm gonna do this one a little bit less organic because the bedding is pretty kind of flowy itself so I just folded this one up in two fourths and then I'm just adding it to the end of the bed like that and that finishes off this bed. The second bed has been styled, and this was actually a very similar bed to the one that I did for my fall bedroom makeover, if you guys remember. And the reason I love this bed is because it actually utilizes a coverlet, which I really have been loving those lately. This matte lace one from Target is my absolute favorite. I'll link it for you guys below. I like it because of the texture, but then it also has this really nice frayed end on it as well, which just adds more texture to the bed. I did this really, really dark pattern sheet, and I think it's really fun to play with dark colors like this and bold patterns, because all you have to do is offset it with something a little bit more simple like this bottom section here. I did really bold at the top here with the fitted sheet and then I placed my flat sheet actually face side down so when I folded it back it almost makes it look like the duvet is covered by the sheet or the duvet essentially matches our sheet set. And then for the pillows I just use the one straight from the sheet set. I love utilizing pieces from the same set because it creates cohesivity. Is that even a word? Probably not. <laughs> cohesiveness as I've been told so it creates cohesiveness which we love that so I did all three pieces from the sheet set here and utilized all of those elements and then did some simple white sleeping pillows on top or they're more of a cream tone to go back to our matte lace coverlet here and then over in the middle here I actually did three different throw pillows and I love doing different ones I know a lot of people like using the same throw pillows on a bed to make it look very symmetrical but I love the look of different throw pillows and then just at the bottom here to pull in a little bit of those throw pillow colors and add just a touch of warmth I added this plum throw from my online store. But I think this bed looks so cute and it's just like a fun little take on adding a coverlet to the bed and just making it look a little bit different. is probably my favorite one in the video and it kind of blends a little bit of one and two with the high contrast so I started off with my cream sheet set that I used in the first bed to show you guys that you don't need to have different sheets for all your different beds there's definitely ways you can make your bed look different uh, without having to go purchase a bunch of different items so the next thing I did was the same exact duvet I added that right on top but for this one I actually just got a brand new quilt I folded it in half and added it towards the bottom of the bed there this is going to be our determining factor for we're gonna fold over the top of the duvet so I just folded it right down 
down to the top of where that quilt ended. And then I ended up adding three 26 inch pillows in the back. This is a fun way to get away with like a different pillow styling. So what I did was added three 26 inch throw pillows in the back there, which are I feel like normally used for sofas. And then I went ahead and added two standard size pillows in front of those. Then I added two decorative pillows right in front of those, again, coordinating those as well. And then right in front of that, you can add a lumbar or a smaller pillow. I had the square one from the flea market on hand. And then what I lastly did was just went ahead and added a throw blanket and I tucked it right under the fold of that duvet, which I really like and finished off the bed by tucking absolutely every aspect of the bed into the base there. The lines weren't perfectly straight, but I feel like you guys get the vibe. Our next bed styling is complete, and I think I like this one the most, honestly, in this space so far. I love how this kind of big, chunky black section coordinates back to the board and batten in the back there. But for this bed, I actually did some simple layering on the actual bed itself because I really wanted to do a bunch with throw pillows. Now, this is definitely hit or miss for some people. Some people enjoy more throw pillows. Some people enjoy less. For this particular bed, I did three more Euro-sized throw pillows in the back. I believe those are 26 inches. Now, I wish I was able to find three of this one, but I wasn't able to, so I grabbed one that was pretty similar just to give you guys a look and then these ones up here are actually some really pretty kind of quilted shams so I added those as well and then two decorative vintage kind of Turkish woven pillows and I got this one actually vintage as well at a flea market so I feel like the interest for this particular bed is more top heavy in the sense that the top of the bed is more interesting than the bottom but I feel like it's really balanced nicely because we have this dark section here and I did the throw blanket a little bit differently on this bed this is an alternate way if you guys would like to you know switch it up a bit where you just kind of fold it over and tuck it underneath when I worked at West Elm, they did this a lot and I always loved how it looked. Something else I did on this bed in particular was I actually tucked in all of the bedding to expose a bit more of the wood, honestly, to contrast back with the throw pillows, but it also kind of shortens and brings down the silhouette of the bottom of the bed a little bit so that we have more emphasis on the top of the bed. But if you do want it to be more balanced, you can totally make this nice and full at the bottom as well so it looks like a fully just overdone but balanced bed. So that is our third bed. I just love the way this one looks. For our last bed here, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a simpler design, but I feel like that's really been trending lately in interior design. I've been seeing a lot of simple beds. So I'm starting off with a basic cream sheet set once again, but again, you can totally alter these colors because a lot of these beds, I'm just sharing with you guys the styling, but you can switch up the colors to match your style for sure. Next, what I'm doing is adding a quilt right on top and then folding it back and then once more back on itself to create that triple fold, which I just love this look. It just creates much more of a hotel looking bed and overall just makes your bed look a lot nicer. Now towards the top, I'm going to be adding two sleeping pillows just stacked on top of each other. These are in the same exact fabric as the sheet set, so it just creates a nice cohesive look. And then towards the bottom, I'm going to fold up a bed blanket and lay this right across the bottom. I really feel like simple beds like this, they're playing with shape and just minimalism and lines and um, fabrics and textures to make the bed interesting, but still extremely simple. So I'm adding two plaid throw pillows and a simple lumbar in front to finish off this design. Another bed for you guys. This one's a little bit more on the simple side, but I love it. Now, Again, every single bed doesn't look perfect in this space, but that's because I'm showing you guys different ways to style beds in one area. So this is, I feel like, more for a toned down, more minimalistic room, someone who likes just very simple bedding. I also feel like it does look better when you don't have a bed that has a little pop-out lip, like this wood here, because it does make your bedding pop out. When it's kind of straight, flat down, it looks a lot more crisp. I did a simple quilt here. This is actually from Gap, believe it or not. I love it. It's so pretty, and it has like a nice kind of frayed edge to it as well. And then what I did on top at the bottom was just folded up a bed blanket. This one in particular is from Bull and Branch, but they have these at Ikea. Um, just a nice little additional bit of warmth if you wanted to lay it out on the bed. And then as far as the pillows go, I actually kept these ones very, very simple. Just two plaid ones, which I love plaid right now. I feel like it's such a universal pattern for male and female. I just love the way that it kind of looks on a bed. And then I added a small, more camel toned kind of lumbar in the front there and just the sleeping bed pillows in the back. So very simple for this one, but still really effective at the same time. I think it's really cute. Thank you. 
And you guys, that finishes off today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this bed styling video. I really wanted to make it just full for you guys and give you a couple different options and ways to style beds and really include a lot of different tips and tricks on doing things. And I hope that this was helpful in any sort of way. Even if you just pulled like one or two tricks from this video, I feel like that could definitely be beneficial when you are styling your bed in the future or another person's bed. And of course, everything I did feature in today's video, I will make sure to link in the description box below. So if you saw any of these bedding pieces that you liked, they will go perfectly with your brand new Helix mattress. So if you guys are in the market for a new mattress, definitely check out Helix. I will link them at the top of the description box below. I am obsessed with mine. It is the most comfortable mattress ever. If you would like me to style anything else again, it could even be like a desk, a bookshelf, multiple different ways. Totally let me know in the comment section below. Do not forget to also subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY videos every single week and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. It is just Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen for you guys and I will catch you all in my next one. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys.